I've struggled with my masculinity most of my life. I still struggle with it today. I'm 45 and I'm still struggling with, with my own masculinity and figuring out what it means. Um, recently, the Psychiatric Association declared that traditional masculinity is, is toxic, is, is, is harmful, I should say. And I can see where they're going with some of it, but there's some aspects to it that I'm just like, well, how is that bad? Like competition. Oh, competitiveness. Well, there's nothing wrong with competitiveness unless you take it too far. And you can take anything too far. As I said in another video, you can, you can drink too much water. Too much water is fatal. You know, don't, don't throw out the baby with the bathwater. Competition can be a very, very great thing. But, you know, lately we're not doing that even in school, in, in elementary schools. You get a, tr a participation award. What kind of shit are we teaching people now? Competition is pretty important in capitalism, but so, but they're just, it's oh, competition and uh, s stoicism. And now stoicism can be, can be very, very bad but it can also be very, very good. Um, there's a time and a place to show your emotions with, with your friends, with your people that you care about, that sort of thing. You know, show your softer side and all of that. Firefighters. Think of firefighters. Isn't that, aren't fire, don't you consider firefighters heroes? Okay, and what did the firefighters have to do to, do, to, to be those heroes? Well, there has to be a certain amount of stoicism there. There has to be a, some amount of, there's got to be a lot of assertiveness there. They have to, I mean, and, and so many of the things required to be a firefighter are things that are being labeled as bad. You know, oh, we, oh, oh no, we can't be like that. That's, that's toxic. Well, they're required for that kind of job. Now, as far as the, uh, uh, Sexual harassment, um, I've struggled with that subject for a long time. When you look at uh, videos like, what was it, 10 hours of walking in New York City, they're considering things like, uh, hi, how are you doing, as harassment. Well, it's just like, oh, well, you shouldn't bother anyone when, when they're walking like that. And it's just like... So, hi, how are you doing is harassment in some way? You know, it, 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 to me, the way that this should be is if someone says, I mean, if someone obviously says nice ass, I, I get it, uh, that's, that's, that can make the person feel uncomfortable. You know, I get that. But if someone says something, hey, how are you doing? and that someone doesn't respond it's not time to keep trying to to get them to speak more if they if they obviously haven't given you any attention just leave it alone don't keep bugging them if you keep bugging them then then yeah that's harassment there are obvious some things some things in that the video the 10 hours of walking new york city there are obviously a number of of incidents where you could consider that consider some things harassment especially the ones that followed her right that's kind of creepy I don't know, there's, there just doesn't seem to be enough nuance of this. And when Psychiatric Association makes this sort of declaration, it, it gives some people the free reign to just pretty much pick on masculinity in general. You know, here's, here's what makes it so difficult, is everything's about what you sh what, uh, what's bad masculinity. There's not really much focus on the good things about masculinity. You know, why? There's, there's so much focus on what's great about women. Oh, women are great, wonderful, wonderful. You have, you have these, all these messages over the past, especially the couple years, um, about women are just so great and, and there's, it, we need to be inspiring. And, we need to, and then when anything comes to guys, it's guys need to work on this. Women are wonderful. Guys need to work on this. Oh, but the women, oh, the guys need to, it's just like, what the hell? Why, why is that the way that this, this gets talked about? Why are women propped up so much like that and the guys are just supposed to, well, the guys are just supposed to take any of the, of the criticism for them being guys? And if you say that, uh, uh, 
Well, let's let's do it the other way around. Let's let's say let's be negative about women and see how that goes over. And then the answer will be, well, no, you shouldn't do that because women don't have power. Oh, that would be punching down. Sorry, there, there's a point. I understand the punching up, punching down thing when it comes to people in particular who have power. Making fun of the president, right? Making fun of, 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 con of, of people in Congress, people in the government, whatever, right? Making fun of a celebrity, right? But when you're making fun of an entire group because they have power, fuck you. You wouldn't like it if people did it to the, the group that's, cons oh, but we're really oppressed. We're so oppressed. So you can't say anything about us, but we can say anything we want about you. And that's the way it should be because you have power and we don't. No, fuck you. You're not, it's not going to go over that way. No, you're not going to put these completely different standards and then try to claim, oh, we want equality. No, you don't. You don't want equality. You want equality of outcome. But when it comes to the, the way that people are treated, no, you don't want equality. You know, what? When it comes to these messages about men, right? What is it? Where, where is the positive message? Where is it? What are we supposed to be? You're always telling us what we shouldn't be. Well, what should we be? And when the only messages that come out is basically, well, men should be more like women. No, no, fuck you. Give us a viable, you know, give us some something viable for us to, to be able to try to strive towards being. Give us something viable. You know what I think one of the biggest contributors to toxic masculinity, to actual toxic masculinity? Fatherless homes. And the idea that fathers really aren't important in raising a family. Those sorts of notions. And it gets pushed over and over again. And yet you look at the statistics. You look at uh, people with, with big prison sentences. Um, a lot of the uh, violent cr criminals as well came from fatherless homes. Um, it's, it, there needs to be positive masculinity. Boys need p positive masculine roles from men. And you can say, well, no, that's sex. No, they need, they need that. In some way, if you're, if you're raising, a, if you're raising a kid, um, you're a single mother raising a boy, you know, see what you can do to get if they still have big brothers, you know, if they still have that, uh, uh, you know, big brothers, big sisters, I, I think that's the name of the program. If they still have something like that, you know, maybe look into that. Make sure you can get your kid some, some positive male role models or not necessarily role models, but just to, to get an idea, to get a deep idea of what it is to be masculine in a positive way. And there's not, there's no push for that. It's just, oh, no, women can, can do this just as good. Well, we're, it's, the statistics disagree. I'm not saying that, that women, you know, single mothers can't be great parents because they can. They're, they're some awesome people. And, you know, but boys having, having some sort of father figure in their life, having someone that they can connect to their masculinity with is important. I don't know how to stress that enough. Oh, we're blank slates. No, we're not blank slates. No, I don't buy into that for a moment. I used to. I, there was a point, there's quite a period where I used to, but I don't anymore. You've got biology and then you've got, then you've got society. And they're, they're both just as important as each other. Um, guys are going to be different than women. Okay, there's the, the obvious physical differences, you know, in, in stature, in, in strength, in, in, you know, then there's the genitalia, but there's also some mental differences. And, you know, when you're just, when the only values you're willing to push are that, oh, well, men should be more like women. Fuck you.